Hello, hello, it's Liz here with Stampin' on the Rock. So today has been a snowy day in my area and uh, things got a little bit off schedule, but I'm recording my video now. Um, I got to play with a pack of paper that is not new necessarily. It's been in the annual catalog. It's still in the annual catalog, um, but I've been wanting to play with it for a while. And so I got a little time to play with it today and I'm super excited about this card. It's fun. So the paper, the pack of paper that I'm using is Lace Shop. Lace Shop, and it has, um, let's see, look at these. All these little French shops on here, which I love. Um, you may or may not know, but France holds a little uh, special spot in my heart. Um, I've been there multiple times in my earlier years. Um, anyway, so I love this set. This brings back some memories for me. And I just think they're really neat. And when I saw it, I really loved it, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it yet. So um, I did get to play with this a little bit. So there's individual pictures on here, but then the flip side, you flip it over and it has some, like the other ones, it has stripes and some other patterns that you can use. Let's see this one here. Okay, so the, this pack of paper is in the annual catalog and it's called Lace Shop. Um, I'm going to use Calypso Coral ink pad, modern label or modern modern oval, sorry, um, punch, and okay, our pieces for our card. <clears throat> excuse me. This is crumb cake, and this is the card base, the eight and a half by eleven, cut in half. It's already been scored and folded. So this is crumb cake. This is a piece of balmy blue. And this piece is four by five and a quarter. And then I have a strip of crumb cake here, which is a half inch, <clears throat> half inch by five and a quarter. And those are my cardstock pieces. Okay, so let's set this out of the way. I'm going to take this one here and let's put this along the bottom. Mm, there we go. I'm just using the um, liquid uh, Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. So I'm going to take this one. We're going to put this right along the bottom of the balmy blue. Okay, so this is going to set the, the scene for our um, French picture here, a little French street. So this is just the roadway or the sidewalk. So we'll set that aside. All right, now I went ahead with scissors. And I just started cutting out different pieces here. So I have some that are already pre-cut. I don't know which ones I'm using here, but <clears throat> that's for something else in a minute. So here's some of our, um, there's a little patisserie, which is the, the bake, bakery. There is a, um, a candy shop here. There's a, a clothing store. Um, and even these pieces that are like, like on the edges here, you could still use those because you could cut those out on the edges and then you can put that on the edge of your card. Okay, so don't feel like you have to lose out on these. You can use those also. But I just cut out various ones from that pack and this one. Oh, here, this is um, the patisserie, with it, which is the bakery. Um, and then there's a fruit stand here. So what I did with them is I cut some of them out like this one here. Let me just show you. Okay, so I have this one here, which is the candy shop, ice cream shop, and I want to pop out the awning that's on here so that it's not just flat. I want to make it 3D. So I'm going to go ahead with this one over here, and I'm just going to cut out the awning. The trick with cutting, I think, is to make sure you have one long cut. Like don't ever reach the end, the tips of your scissors, just keep going. Otherwise, I think when you keep cutting all the way, you end up with a really chopped uh, piece. Okay, so I'm cutting out the awning here. There we go. Okay, what I'm gonna do with the awning now is I'm gonna take some dimensionals and then some of these pieces, you may need to use the mini dimensionals. There are mini ones, or you can take the regular size ones and you can cut them in half. 
for this here, I'm using a regular size dimensionals. Dimensionals are always good to have on hand, so if you don't have any of your stash, um, you might want to add that to your next order because they are great to have. And I'm just taking this piece and I'm going to layer it right over top of the awning that's here. And now I have a 3D <clears throat> so the awning sticks out here, okay? And I want to do the same thing with the door. So let's go out of the same one here. I'm going to cut out the door. All right, let's get rid of that. And go around here. There we go. Okay, same thing then. I'm going to take some dimensionals, put those on the back. And we're going to pop up this doorway here. Okay, so there we go. So look at that piece now. I don't know how well you can see that in there. Um, so I made this 3D with the dimensional and the door, and they stand out. So just look for different things that you might um, just want to pop up on your pieces. So that's that one there. I did this one here already. I popped up the awning and the doors on that one too. Um, I think that's the only one I did here. I have a little, this one, let's do, okay, let's see which ones we're going to use here. I kind of tried to use like a tall building and then a short building for my layout. So let's do, hmm, let's, this is going to be my, my scene. I'm going to make a scene with this. Okay. So let's put that one there and maybe we'll put our, our clothing store here. Um, okay. Do the clothing store. And then in between we have these little like shrubbery bits here. So I have, and those I cut out. Let's, uh, on this piece here okay so this piece here has these little shrubberies little planters or there's little like an easel that could be put up too so that could go there also i think i'm going to put the planter in here though so let's see how we're going to do this let me take this piece here i'm going to put a dimensional on the back so i cut out three planters a dimensional on the back i'm going to take one and put it here and I'm going to take my other one and we're going to put it here okay so now we have this piece here do you see how they stand out like that all right so let me go ahead and pick, take this one we're going to lay this down Oh my goodness, this is fun. It just was, felt like it, it was just re relaxing. I had a good time just cutting out all those. And if you don't want to do that, you don't have to do that either. Um, you know, if you're looking at this going, yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to do that. Look at, flip it over on the back. It has beautiful designs on the back. So it's great to use it that way too. So let's put this here. And I'm going to overlap it a little bit. I'm going to have it stick out a little bit on this side because... If you remember this piece here, this balmy blue is four and a quarter. Um, sorry, it's four by five and a quarter, four by five and a quarter. So when it goes on to the base, there's a little bit of a, a border around there. So it works out really well if you like let this hang over a little bit, just a little bit. You don't want it to go longer than the card, but it's going to go a little bit longer than this piece here. Okay, so my awning sticks out a little bit there. All right, so that's that one. And then I'm gonna put this one here and I'll get, it will get cut off a little bit and that's okay. So I'm just, just going to put adhesive about here over. Okay, I'll go ahead and put that about right there. Press that down. All right, I'm gonna take my little shrubbery here. And we'll put the shrubbery right on the sidewalk here in front of the stores. Okay, 
Now you think, okay, well that's hanging off a whole lot. Yeah, that is. So we're going to turn that over then. And I will trim that off. And then you can get rid of that or you can save this and then you can use it on another another card because it could be put on this end as like a partial storefront on that end so you can hang on to that all right so i have all these little pieces here i can make others i'm going to push those off there though all right so there's my little french street scenery and then we're going to add some sentiments i pulled the words from one of the um, celebration stamp sets this is the one of the ones that you can choose for free with a with a qualifying order so it is called softly sophisticated so it works really well with this french set and it has hello there you're in my thoughts i really appreciate you um, i'm using the one that says you're in my thoughts and let me stamp that right on here remember just tap 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 you don't have to squish it see when i get it fully inked there's no ink on the block. You don't see any ink on the block there because I'm not squishing all the way into the pad. Just tap the words in there. And I'm gonna put it kind of at the bottom and I'll show you why in a sec. Straight down, straight back up. If you're getting ink all over your block, it really means you're just pressing too hard into your stamp pad, okay? So let's close that up. And I'm using the Modern Oval. We'll turn that upside down. And I want it to come, I probably should have gotten a bigger piece of paper, but I was trying to use up some of my scraps here. That's okay, we can do this. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm sliding it down slightly. I'll show you other little trick here. You can take take a post-it note, I have a, let me see, some phone number on here that we don't need. But I'm going to take a post-it note. If your piece is too small to fit in there, if you're trying to like use scraps that you have and your piece is too small, take a post-it note. Stick your post-it note on like this. Actually, let's do it up here. Okay, and then that lets you hold on to it to get it where you want it to be. So then I can put it in here. And I want it down at the bottom. I don't want it actually centered on the top part. And I'll show you why in a second. And get rid of that let's get rid of this post-it well it's not really going to matter but okay so i have it centered right to left oops i have it centered right to left but i don't have it centered top to bottom because so what i want to actually do is i'm going to put adhesive right along the bottom just the bottom half there we go and then i'm going to put it up at the top here Okay, like this okay so it's sticking off the top up there we're gonna flip it over and I'm going to trim this off and there we go all right let's close this up so what do you think of this paper it's called lace shop again it is in the annual catalog or you can find it online and it's lace shop if you're hitting that search bar it's l-e-s L-E-S, separate word, S-H-O-P-P-E-S. -P -P -E it's spelled like the French way of spelling shops. L-E-S space S-H-O-P-P-E-S. -P -P -E okay. All right. And let's put this on here. Onto our crumb cake base. And we'll push that on there. Let's flip it over so we can press it well without getting our fingers all over the card. And it dries pretty quickly. There is a little bit of time, so if you need to wiggle your pieces a little bit, the glue doesn't dry instantly. But it is pretty quick, and it holds very well. And there we go. And this is our card for today. So what do you think? That was fun to do, and I enjoyed doing that, and I'm looking forward to making some more and just kind of cutting out these pieces. Um, cutting out these pieces are great to do when you're just sitting and watching a movie or watching a show, or if you're traveling in the car, that's something you can just do while you're um, not the one driving, obviously. Um, but if you're driving somewhere or um, just watching a show or movie, this is a great little thing to cut these out. And I know some of you fussy cutting, you're like, Ugh, this isn't really super detailed. I mean, when there's these little tiny flowers right here, I just trim those off. I just went right up and trimmed those off. But So otherwise, 
there's a lot of like straight lines, so it's not too bad fussy cutting. Um, so anyway, just wanted to give you that little something a little bit different and just made a scenery card. So I hope you enjoyed that and um, hit that like button. If you do, give me a comment and talk to you later. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.